girl. What's the matter? I need help with my math homework. <gasps> really? Do you yeah. want some help? Yeah, totally. Okay. Woo! Woo! You ready for some math? Yes! Woo! 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 All right, okay. <laughs> First of all, your problem is that you're writing with a pen. We never write with a pen in math. Gosh! My B, my B. Okay. What are you doing? Are you kidding me? Like, your cell phone is out. Like, we do not text in math class. Are you kidding me? I was just setting this up. What is this? What? What is this? I'm confiscating this right now. You know what? I don't even know. No wonder you need help in math. That side and that side. 
since they aren't congruent. Excellent. Now, we must subtract the terms to subtract the x's. Then, you must add 5 to both sides. And x will equal 9. Step 1 complete. Congratulations. Now, for step 2, plug in x, or plug in 9 for x, and then set 9 plus 6 equal to 2y plus 5, because they are congruent. Look at the congruent. Okay, what we do next is we subtract 5 from both sides in order to combine like terms. So we're left with 2y equals 10. Next, divide 2 on both sides in order to get y by itself making y equal to 5. And now with that, you have just done math. Example complete. Now, right. That's that for Jack and we're going to solve for x. Okay. These two sides are a set of parallel lines, so we're going to set them equal. And then you subtract 2 from both sides. What are you doing? Oh my. Okay, and then you divide each side by 2. We are still plugging in x for each, and we're on the last bottom side, so 4 plus 3 equals 7.